Let's start. Today we will learn about the target attribute of the anchor tag. A target attribute decides in which tab the clicked hyperlink would open. There are four types of targets. The first one is the self-target. This opens the hyperlink in the same tab or the browser window. This is the default target type. The second one is the blank target. This opens the hyperlink in the new tab or the browser window. This third one is the parent target. If one HTML page is embedded inside another HTML page, and a hyperlink with parent target is clicked in that child HTML page, then that link would open in the parent HTML pages tab or browser window. And the fourth one is the top target. Suppose there are multiple HTML pages that are embedded inside one another, and a hyperlink with the top as a target is clicked in one of those child HTML pages, then that link would open in the topmost HTML pages tab. Let's see the code. Here we have an HTML file called 1.html. Here we have a hyperlink with android.com's link in it. And the target attribute of this link is set to self. So when a user clicks this link, the website would open in the same tab. Next, here we have a hyperlink with android.com's link in it. And the target attribute of this link is set to blank. So when a user clicks this link, the website would open in a new tab. Next, we have embedded an HTML file called 2.html using an iframe tag over here. So to understand the two frames properly, we are going to call the 1.html file as the first frame. This is the 2.html file. We are going to call this file as the second frame. We have embedded an HTML file called 3.html using an iframe tag over here. This is the 3.html file. We are going to call this file as the third frame. Here we have a hyperlink with android.com's link in it. And the target attribute of this link is set to self. So when a user clicks this link, the website would open in this third frame. Next, here we have a hyperlink with android.com's link in it. And the target attribute of this link is set to blank. So when a user clicks this link, the website would open in a new tab. Next, here we have a hyperlink with android.com's link in it. And the target attribute of this link is set to parent. The parent of the third frame is the second frame. So when a user clicks this link, the website would open in the second frame. Next, here we have a hyperlink with android.com's link in it. And the target attribute of this link is set to top. The first frame is the top frame over here. So when a user clicks this link, the website would open in the first frame. Let's run the 1.html file in the browser. When I click this link, the website will open in the same tab. When I click this link, the website will open in the new tab. When I click this link, the website will open in the same frame, that is the third frame. When I click this link, the website will open in the new tab. When I click this link, the website will open in the second frame, because here the second frame is the parent frame of the third frame. When I click this link, the website will open in the top frame. Here the first frame is the top frame. So that's it. That's how you can work with the target attribute of the anchor tag in HTML. Thank you.